Good morning, Crier crew. It's your boy, Damian Crier. I hope each and every one of you guys is having a wonderful and blessed day. I'm doing just fine, man. Just trying to get the day started. As y'all know, I try to do a little something, something before I go to work, because why not? I got to eat anyway. Anyway, man, I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful and blessed Thursday. I have to admit, it's the end of the week, and I am, ext Oop, let me make an adjustment. I am extremely excited, because not only is it Thursday, but it is actually almost the end of the week. So we got one more day and it'll be Friday. The weekend will be started. By the time the weekend is over with, guys, it will be the month of December. The last month of 2018, man. I hope that this year has found all of you guys with many, many, many blessings, man. And sometimes, you know, we get caught up in a moment where um, there's things that we want to do and there's things that we want to do, that we should do, but we don't do. For instance, I've never been the type of person who actually do what a lot of people do. A lot of people go out like September, October, they start doing Christmas layaways or whatnot. They start doing things way ahead of time. I'm one of those guys, man, I would literally wait until the 24th of December before I started doing Christmas shopping. So guys, don't get frustrated in the big crowds out there. Everybody's going to be rushing to do layaways, trying to do Christmas shopping, trying to do this, trying to do that, trying to get the ball rolling, man. And then, you know, um, remember guys, don't go flat broke, man, trying to please everybody. You know, you're only, you know, you can only do what you can do. You know, so don't go out of your way trying to please everybody. We as people, we always feel like that um, if we don't get somebody something for Christmas, we feel like that they're going to feel some type of way. You know, it's the small things that matter, man. You don't have to go and buy your brother an elevator for Christmas or buy your grandmother a helicopter for the top of the house. You know, it's the small things that matter. Uh, you know, uh, um, Merry Christmas card. A pair of five dollar slippers house shoes you know it's the small things it's not about going out and spending thousands of dollars you know however if you got kids you know you got kids that's getting older you know like back in the day you used to be able to go christmas shopping and buy the little ones little stuff you know little soldiers little bitty hot wheel cars you know and stuff like that and that's when things were simple but now as kids get older as they reach the ages of three four five years old these kids have tablets no more hot wheels no more little army soldiers they have tablets these kids have iphones these kids have android phones these kids have notes i mean man so if you can't afford it, don't go broke trying to get your child what the next person child has. You know, because um, at the end of the day, you'll find out that they're only kids. And all you're going to do is get yourself upset when they break that expensive gift. You know, we all know that kids that age are not responsible. But if you got it like that and you can afford to get your kids stuff like that, then more power to you. My hat goes off to you. I just wanted to give those words to you guys, man, to don't go out trying to break your back and um, um, try to go broke, trying to please everybody. Because every time that you shop and you grab something, oh, I can get this for such and such, even though I ain't seen him in 10 years. Oh, I can get this for such and such. I ain't seen him in five years. Oh, you didn't get me nothing for, nothing for last year. I'm not gonna get you nothing this year. Guys, don't have that attitude. People be like, so what are you going to get me for Christmas? Same thing I got you last year or the same thing you got me last year or nothing. Don't have that attitude, you know. Um, just, you know, it's all about family, love. You know, everybody's going to be off work for a while. You know, I know I'm going to be off maybe a week or two. So um, just um, try to be safe out there, man. Um, but anyway, guys, I'll cut all that stuff out, man. Anyway, I'm here today, man, because I have dug in the freezer. And I found this right here. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at me here. This is a, don't know how many ounces it is, but this is a ribeye, um, uh, beef ribeye steak. So what I'm gonna do with this steak, guys, is I'm gonna take this bad boy. I got my cutting board over here. I'm gonna take it and chop it into cubes and make like steak and onion uh, tips. You know, like, I don't know if you guys heard of, um, of course, right here in Indiana, a lot of people might have heard of IHOP. So when I go to IHOP, my favorite dish I order, I don't care if it's one or two in the morning or it's one or two in the afternoon, I'm ordering 
uh, uh, steak tips and onions. I normally get the steak tips, onions, and eggs. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna adjust my little camera real quick, guys. And um, let you guys see the prep work. I don't wanna zoom in, cause when I zoom, it gets kind of blurry. So I can at least give you guys an idea. I'm gonna bring the camera in just a little bit. You probably won't better see my face too well. But hopefully you can see the cutting board and the steak. So let me do that again. So you guys can see it. So there it is. So I'm gonna take this and cube it up. Zoom that back out real quick. Zoom it in too much, guys, it'll just get really blurry. There we go. Sorry about that. So I have an onion, a whole white onion. I'm sorry, this is a whole yellow onion. I'm going to actually, um, once I get the steak cut up, I, I'm going to, actually, there we go. My camera got dark on me. I'm going to actually uh, dice this onion up and put it right in the pot with the steak while the steak's cooking. Give it that extra added flavor. So I'm about to start cutting this bad boy up. And I'm cutting the fat. I'm gonna cook the fat and everything with the steak. Because normally I cut the fat off, but this to me is a breakfast steak. <laughs> breakfast steaks to me is supposed to have the fat on it because everybody say the most important meal of the day is what? Breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So that's why I'm gonna start this Thursday off with steak. Plus Thursday is like celebration day for me because every Thursday, puts me one day closer to possibly having a full weekend off. You guys know I work a lot of Saturdays, steel mill, that's how it is. You're not gonna have every weekend off. It just doesn't work like that. So this is like a celebration day for me. Hey, this is Thursday, Thursday morning. I'm gonna make me a steak and a whole bunch of onions. So anyway, so I'm gonna take the steak and start dicing it up. I had to turn my television down, guys, so you guys don't hear all the background noise because it just makes work more work for me when I have to edit the video and edit out all the background noise. And it really, really sucks having to do that. My camera blew up on me. Okay, no, she didn't. She didn't blur up. So, these steaks right here, you can do so much with them. Like the ribeye steaks, you can make steak tacos with them. All you do is just cut the meat up real fine. You can make steak burritos. You can make steak nachos. You can make steak and egg, steak and rice, steak and salad. I mean, there's so much that you can do with a steak, man. Um, I've tried to bake steaks before in the oven, but they never, ever come out the way that they really should come out. So, as you guys know, I will not be able to bring my tripod close to the stove um, because there's not enough room. Um, Speaking of room, I need to close this. Let me go ahead and turn my stove on. Because if I, because as you guys see how the setup and layout is in my apartment, the refrigerator's right there, and then the stove is like, blah, right on the other side. So it'd be next to impossible for me to set this tripod up right there at the stove. Because if I did, you guys wouldn't be able to see me. Y'all just better see smoking food being turned over, but you won't really be able to see me talk. And I think that's most important when you can see a person talk, trying to explain stuff. Um, I hate watching a video where there's a person in the background talking, explaining, but you can't actually see the individual stuff. It just makes it kind of annoying. So anyway, guys, I got the little steaky mum. I got the little bitty steaky mums all cut up. And that's what I did. I just basically just diced them up to little cubes, just like that, you know. I said I left the fat on for a reason. You know, the fat on this steak, breakfast steak, gives it more flavor. And then, again, like I said, if you watch my other videos in the past where I was cooking steak or something, I always cut the fat off of it. Um, but that was like a dinner steak. It wasn't a breakfast steak, a dinner steak. Meaning you have dinner in the evening time. You don't want to lay down. Most people, like when you're eating dinner, you're going to pretty much be relaxing after dinner. So you're going to be laying around. And if I'm gonna lay around with food on my stomach all night long, I'm not gonna lay around with a bunch of fat on my stomach. However, with breakfast steak, since I'm getting my day started, I'm gonna be walking around all day at work, walking this stuff off so it doesn't really matter. So that little fat that I'm adding in here, I'm gonna burn it right off, guys. So it's not gonna really hurt. 
So I don't want you to be like, hmm, how did he contradict himself in his past videos where he said cutting a fat off a steak? You go back and look, those are actually dinner steaks. Big difference between breakfast steaks and dinner steaks. So these steaks will not take that long to cook because again, this is the ribeye, which is kind of already tender when you first buy it. And that's what I love about this. It doesn't take long. It's this, this is an awesome steak right here, guys. So I'm gonna be using this seasoning right here. You guys know Julissa sent this to me several months ago. Um, I never could pronounce the name right, but it's the Goya. I won't even pronounce you guys. Just there, this right here, that seasoning right there. Put that on that meat like that third. And I'm not adding any black pepper to the steak because I'm using onions. If I wasn't using onions, I would add the black pepper because the uh, onions actually gives it the flavor. Then I'm going to use some of this meat tenderizer, which it just adds flavor. The meat's already tender. You hear the noise in the background. That's the butter inside the pan. I don't use grease for my steak. I use butter. So um, that cuts down on some of the fat. Plus the butter already has the salt in it. So a little bit of meat tenderizer. I don't know why I forgot the lemon pepper. I don't even need a little lemon pepper. Not like I'm cooking fish or anything. So this is what I have, guys. I didn't put a whole lot of seasoning on it. Oh, I just dropped one of my meats on the floor. But anyway, there you have it, guys. That's it right there. So now I have that cooking. You know, I always clean as I go. I don't ever like to um, work around a lot of filth. I don't like to work around a lot of filth. Now, while the steak's in there, I'm gonna go ahead and take this whole, when I say this was white, this is a yellow onion. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this onion up real quick. I'm gonna be moving kind of fast because the meat's already cooking and I wanna get the onion in there as soon as possible so they can cook together and I can start flipping all that stuff over, guys. And I'm going to use the whole onion, the whole entire onion. And that's it guys, just like that. I am really tripping man. Usually I turn my phone on vibrate while I'm vlogging now. Today I didn't turn it on vibrate, so hopefully it doesn't start making those sounds. So I'm just going to dump this right inside the steak um, pan. Okay. Now we got that in there. Okay guys, I'm going to disconnect this for a second so you guys can see what I got going on. So right here guys is the steak. I got the steak and the onions in there together. That looks so good. So um, again I want to get the onions to the bottom of the pan because the steak's going to cook fairly fast. I've only got the stove. I got electric stove guys so my stove is actually only on two. I don't have the stove up really 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 loud. Oops. The onion jumped out of the pot man. I didn't jump out of the pot. So anyway, gonna let that cook for a little while, guys. Um, and just keep on mixing it up, just like that. Once those onions start to brown around the same time, that meat will start to brown as well. Once that meat starts to brown, it's a wrap, man. It is a wrap. So that's our steak tips and onions right there. Okay. So we're going to set this back on a tripod without actually cutting it off. And a lot of people are like, Damien, quit cutting off the camera during the cooking videos. Okay, there we go. We good? We good? Okay, so now I have my eggs. 
And I always buy these eggs. These are the large eggs. Um, these actually cost like, I think, 99 cents. So I don't go spend a lot of money on groceries because I try not to. It's really unnecessary when it's just me. And people are like, like I said in the video yesterday, I do shop at the Dollar Tree. Items are a dollar. You know, what they say, shop smarter, uh, not harder. Uh, or people say, work smarter, not harder. There's an easy way, a simple way to do things without having to break the bank or go out of your way and you know try to do what everybody else is doing i like to do what i like to do and that's just me so these are the large eggs and yes you guessed that i am going to make a steak and egg breakfast this morning so take these i think i'm going to crack like maybe three eggs so first egg Second egg. Okay. And, sorry about that, third egg. Oh, I dropped the shell now. So now we have three eggs. I'm gonna bat, uh, hold on one second guys. Okay, so I know you guys probably wondering how the heck did he do that to just see how I cracked the eggs and with one hand. So leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know if you think that was cool. I know a lot of people sit there and, t -t 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 and break them with both hands. But believe it or not, years ago I used to work at a restaurant. I worked at McDonald's. I worked at uh, Big Boys, uh, Azars. They call it Big Boys or Azars. I was the, uh, I was the head cook on third shift. So that's how I learned that little trick, cracking them eggs open. Anyway, guys, I've already, um, I got three eggs in here. So all I'm gonna do really is just scramble them up real quick. Real easy process. I've already, again, I cook my eggs with butter or Pam in a, in a, in a uh, skillet. That way, um, I don't have to really put salt on everything because the butter already has its own salt in it. And that's it, man. Um, you can you can whip your eggs up in any type of bowl. It doesn't have any, you know, you don't have to have an egg bowl, an egg beater. You can just take a spoon or a fork and just stir them up. So what I want to do is I want to try to time everything perfectly. Like basically, kind of keep an eye on this time, guys. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know I got to get ready to get up in the steel mill and get those coins. So I'll be trying to bring y'all a little something, something. Before I go, I just hope after I eat this meal, man, that I'm able to work because y'all know the itis is real. For y'all who don't know what itis is, man, this is when a person eats, and y'all can relate to what I'm going to say, is when a person eats and gets full, and you just sit there and do this. That's itis, believe it or not. You can say whatever you want, it's called itis. We eat, we get full, we get lazy. That's why they say, only eat one solid meal through the day. Do not eat two or three solid meals through the day because you will, it's, it's a wrap. You're gonna gain so much weight, man. And you're gonna be so tired all the time from all that weight. So anyway, I want to check on the steak over here, guys, and see what we got. I better grab a cooking mitt while I burn myself. I guess working in a steel mill, my hands are used to touching hot stuff, so it's like when I touch a hot skillet or something, it doesn't hurt. I heard somebody say, man, uh, uh, you gonna just put your hand on that? I mean, don't it hurt? Yes, it hurts, but I don't think about it because I'm so used to doing it. I guess that's that reacting before I think when we should think before we react. So anyway, the onions are starting to turn brown. Oh man, you guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna keep taking the camera off the tripod. Check it out, guys. See that? When that's 
steak starts to brown and the onion starts to brown, you want to keep mixing it up. You, that's when you want to really start giving it more attention. In the beginning, you don't have to give it a lot of attention because it's still pink. And when it's pink, you don't really want to rush over and start turning it and all that stuff. So I'm going to take this off, guys, just so you can see where we're at real quick. And I'll put it back on here. Okay. Got to move kind of slow so it doesn't blur up. So that's where we're at right now, guys. Remember earlier it was like really, really pink looking and the onions had that raw texture to them. So it's not bad, huh? Meat's coming out okay. I'm sure you guys want me to do a taste test, don't you? I'm sure you guys want me to do a taste test. I'll do another taste test for you guys. And when my steak gets done and after you guys finish watching this video, I want you guys to leave me a comment in the comment section down below and let me know if you like my steak tips and onions and if not tell me what you think that I could have did differently to make this a whole lot better um, and as, as always man I really do appreciate you guys comments when y'all comment in my um, videos and I try to respond to each and every one of you guys comments you know more so instead of just hitting a like button or something I want to react with you guys and interact with you guys I'm sorry, interact with you guys so you guys can know that I'm not just scanning through the comments. And for the most part, I appreciate you guys. You know, like when you watch my videos, you don't just, I'm sorry guys, this is the butter for the eggs. I know that's a lot of butter. I kind of overdid it. Um, didn't really mean to have that much butter in there. But, um, oh, excuse me, I got to put this back on here real quick. Don't, oh, uh, there we go. Like that there. Uh, anyway guys, I like when you guys comment in the comment section because your feedback is really important to me. You know, it, 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 it lets me know if I should be motivated to continue doing videos like this guys for you or if you guys want me to do something different or if you want me to cook something different. Uh, I think somebody in one of my comments actually asked me, Damien, can you do a, um, a, um, get a little bit light here. If I could do a, a loaded hamburger, and um, so yes, I'm going to do a, the loaded hamburger. Guys who don't know what a loaded hamburger is, in my opinion of a loaded hamburger is going to be a lot of onions, lettuce, tomatoes. I'm going to show you guys the beginning to end. I'm not going to go buy the meat that's already padded. I'm going to get the regular ground beef. I'm going to pat it myself because I think it's better that way and get all the toppings. Somebody also asked me in the comment section that... Um, if I could do chili. Chili is something I never made in my life. Um, uh oh, I smell my steak. Right back, guys. Ooh, this is the bomb, baby. Chili is something that I never made before, guys. Guys, I have to get these eggs in. I almost burnt my onions. Chili is something that I've never made in my life, and I hope that you guys can hear me while I'm talking. Uh, I've never made chili before. Um, it's something that I wish I had because I don't know how to make it. Um, it's like something that I crave a lot. Chili with crackers or chili and cornbread all mixed together with a little hot sauce. Y'all know I love hot sauce. I just don't know how to make it, I'm gonna lie. But what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm gonna to try to do that video for you guys of me making homemade chili and see how that works out. And then after I do my version of chili, you guys leave me a comment of how you think I should've did it. And then I'm gonna do your version of how you think I should make it. And uh, so leave me a comment, Matt, in the box down below. Let me know if you guys think that's something that you'll be inter interested in doing participating with me on making chili. We can even do it on live. Leave me a comment if you want me to do a video, a cooking video for you guys on live. Let me know, man. Um, I think that that would be so different right there. A live cooking video, man. Bring that comment section up for me, man. Also, before I forget, because y'all know I blabber, blabber, blabber a lot, I would like to give a shout out today to Honey Suckle. Honey Suckle. I'm hoping that that's your real name. 
but I doubt it. But if it's not, you know who you are. Shout out goes to you today, man. Um, congratulations. Um, I better check these eggs, guys. Now it's getting to the point where everything's about done. The steak is definitely done. So now it's time to execute here. Okay guys, here it is. Hope you guys can see that clear. That is the onions and the steak. Official takes test, going in, going in, going in. Ah, ah, it's hot, look at that smoke coming off of it. Uh -oh. My battery's dying guys, oh no. Taste test. Mm, mm, mm. Okay guys, sorry about that earlier. Um, I don't wanna take up too much of your time, you guys' time, but my battery on my camera actually was dying and it was starting to beat. So I had to put it on a charger for a few minutes just to finish this video off for you guys. But this is actually the first cooking video that I've actually made where I had to keep the cam where I kept the camera on consistently for you guys. Um, so you know, the camera cuts off every 16 point something, I think 16 and a half minutes you have to reset it. So that's why the video was so long. I apologize about that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, Again, I want to try to do more cooking videos where I'm going step by step. So this is the first video where I actually went step by step and showed you guys what I was doing without turning the camera on and off. Anyway, guys, this is the breakfast I made. It's, you know, it's nothing else added to steak and eggs. It was really just the um, steak and is what I wanted to show you guys how I make my steak tip and eggs. So I wanted to do the old taste test before um, I actually gave the video a conclusion so um you guys leave me a comment a comment section down below let me know what you think of this mega breakfast video and if i should continue doing these type of videos i actually enjoy them the only downside to it is you know working every day and then i'm committed to getting up trying to bring you guys a video every day and then uh, now i'm about to start working out so this is the steak and eggs. I'm sorry, this is the steak and onion. Amazing. Amazing, this is really good. Let's say you guys don't have to go buy the very expensive steak at all. It's not necessary to have a very expensive steak. You can have a regular cheap steak. This ribeye steak, I caught it on sale, was like $3 for this steak right here. Um, I try not to buy too many steaks because when I buy them, I put them at the bottom in the freezer and don't realize I have them. And then when I go to the store, I see it on sale, I get more than I compile, compile, and pile it in my freezer. Then at the end of the day, when I'm looking for something like pork chops or some chicken breast or something to eat to, to, to cook the next day, I realized I got eight or nine packs of steak in there. So, mmm. I want to do the um, loaded, loaded hamburger cooking vlog. You guys, please let me know in the comment section. Hello. If you want me to do the loaded burger. When I make a burger, it's, it's just too big to eat. You have to kind of smash that thing down. Um, as far as the chili, that's something I have to work on. I've never made homemade chili in my life. I know you have to have beans, some type of sauce. Whatever sauce it is that makes the, makes the chili turn that brown with the red color. You guys know what I'm talking about. Something you have to use to make it turn that color. I know you need ground beef. I know you need beans. I know you need chili powder. I think some people use pepper. I'm not for sure. When I'm eating food, I look at it to see what's in it. But I don't know where to really start. I know I have to cook the meat first. That's obvious. You have to cook the meat first. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. So you guys help me out. Um, and I'm going to be using, I'm going to pick um, five people from my channel, from my subscriber list, 
from their comments and I'm going to make their recipe exactly the way that they made it. And if you guys want me to do a live cooking video, you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to try to do a live cooking video. You know that's not going to be an easy video to do because you're going to be live and actually sitting there cutting up celery and onions and all that stuff. But I can make it happen. I'll make it happen for you guys. You know, uh, y'all the reason why I do this, man. But once again, I'm not going to sit here and eat, and, eat, and eat this whole plate of food right now. I just want to, excuse me. Mm. Thank God for the coffee. Eating and running my mouth at the same time is not good. So leave me a comment, comment section down below, guys. Let me know um, what you think about the mega hamburger. I might do that video for you guys Saturday. I think I'm off this weekend, and I think Darian's coming over. A lot of people have been asking about, where is Darian? Where is Darian? For you new subscribers who don't know who Darian is, he's my 10-year-old son. So he'll come over this weekend and stay the whole weekend with me, guys. And we are fin to act a clown. Boy, do I got a surprise for his little butt. He won't even see this coming. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end up this video, man. I thank you guys for the major support. I thank you guys for watching this video, man. Smash that like button, man. Let's get this video to five likes. Nah. Let's get this video to ten likes. And I'll drop another video for you guys. Also, guys, um, I was asked for the last several months about the name Crier Crew. What do you guys think about Crier Crew, gang, gang, gang? Let me know what you think about the Crier Crew. Somebody wants me to make an intro where I'm talking, you know, change the intro to Crier Crew. So let me know, man. I have not started working on a new intro yet, guys. There's a reason for that. I still have my old intro. I'm just not using it right now. It's not deleted. It's just not in my videos, the last few videos. There's a reason for that. Trying to see where, it, you know, see what direction things are heading before I go changing everything all over and doing all that stuff. Like I said, things is not always what it seems, man. You know, God, God, God puts us in storms for a reason. You know, remember, I always say, man, it's not how you get knocked down. It's about how you get back up. And when you get back up, you get back up and you stand tall and you hold your head to the sky, man. I love you guys, man. My email is black underscore DAC2 at yahoo.com. Hit me up on Facebook, IG, IG. My IG name is Damian Cryer Sr. Facebook, Damian Cryer, D-A-M-I-O-N-C-R-Y-E-R. -E my YouTube channel is Damian Cryer, D-A-M-I-O-N-C-R-Y-E-R. It doesn't matter if you lose lose upper casings or lower casings as soon as you type the name in blah it'll pop right up anyway man i love you guys man and i will see you guys in the next video have a blessed and warm thursday man um treat every treat everyone with respect and if you can't do that at least treat yourself with with respect have respect for yourself kids do your homework help your parents out with those chores don't let them have to ask you to do the chores just do them come home and just surprise your parents Come home and just start doing stuff. Come home and just take the trash out to the curb or pull the empty trash cans onto the house that's been empty today. Do the dishes without them having to tell you to do them. Do your homework. Clean the house up for them. Just surprise them so when your parents come home from work, they can relax and sit down and, you know, ask you how your day was, man. Sometimes it's best to, you know, we, we as people, especially as young people we look past stuff like that it's the little things that matter man um so anyway i won't continue to blabber on and about this because i have to get myself ready for it but i love you guys man i really do man until next time i'm damien crier i'll talk to you next video peace